Hey there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to look into the installation of the Bounty OS as requested by you on the comment. So, last time we checked on the advantages and how to use this amazing operating system. So, today we are going to jump into the installation and how you can get started with this so you just need to get into the uh, github page the github repository and you need to download first before you download on this if you get into the issue you will find we have three closed issues on the repo and uh, you see there was a, an issue reported that doesn't support virtual box so that's the status as of now yeah and there's the reason they explained why they wouldn't support this on virtual box but it's supported on vmware which is free also to download and use so you can look for you may have download and you should get a link yeah, from export they should be safe to use and you should download this to get the VMware workstation so that's what I'm currently using and it's required for this to use to work so we did see we have a number of tools that come pre-installed with this and today we are going to see how to install the ISO so first you need to download the ISO and to do this you can download this from Google Drive or Mega.nz and you can get the AMD or the ARM depending on the architecture of your system so for AMD just need to click on this and you should be redirected to the Google Drive where you just need to download this and you should get a nicer it's about 4.8 GB so I've gone ahead and downloaded this so I have the the ISO with me downloaded so let me show you it is 5.1 GB so with the ISO in place let's get back to the repo so once you get the ISO next will be this step so we we'll go back to the workstation so we'll create a new machine you can go with the recommended then we are going to use an ISO image so you need to browse to the ISO image location yeah it didn't detect the operating system but that's all right we can specify that so it's a Linux and it's based on Debian so this goes well you can rename the virtual machine for ease access so here we need to allocate the disk so the recommended is 25 gigs and 4 GB of ROM so we can go 
with the recommended we can use the virtual disk as a single file for now and the allocated memory by default is 2 gigs 2048 MB so we can customize this to the recommended one which is 4 GB there or about and we can close this so that was affected and finish this so you have some instructions here on what to do after you're done with the installation so that you can eject the the ISO file so on first boot you, you get these three options so we go with the live system I did So we choose the live system. So ensure the mouse is well recognized by the virtual box. So the system is booting into the live system and finally on the interface. So currently we are Debian live user, meaning we haven't installed this into the system. So what we need to do, first we need to ensure we have internet connection. You can do this by pinging Google. Yeah, we have internet. So the next step should be this. We need to install Calamets so that this help us. We can first. We will need to type this. So the apt install. So this will help us install the Debian into the into the virtual box. So yeah, you need to run the first to install the color 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 mirrors. up into this on what they do okay we need to first update So you can try update the APT packages first, then reinstall the Chromias. 
so that this can help you now install the OS manually. So since this is done, we just need to launch this installer and we get this welcome to Caramels installer for Debian 13 then you can choose the language go next you can choose your region or location that you are in you can choose the keyboard then since we are on the VMware and we have this 25 gigs virtual disk that we we created we can choose the first option where we erase the disk and uh, the partition is done automatically so we need to provide the username you can go with bounty then the workstation name and provide the password should be this uh, password policy in place here so should be less than shouldn't be less than six characters and shouldn't be simple also okay then after this you just need to click on the install and the installation should start and should be quick as does that goes on so that we can install the VMware tools and you are ready to hack the planet so I'll pause this and give it a few minutes then we get back once this is done so after the installation is done you should be able to use the tools out of the box without more installation also another thing of your list is virtual box is also supported unlike what I'd said before yeah I also tried this on virtual box currently what I'm using and this what yeah, so becomes easier now to use these tools So you can try installing this on VirtualBox to work. So that's it. I'll wrap it up there. Go ahead and try do the installation on your end. Cheers, guys.